Hi, I'm Matt Hatton from the technology industry analyst firm Transformer Insights. We're here at the Things Conference in Amsterdam talking about IoT and specifically Laura Wan. I'm here with uh, Xu Yang Zhu, did I get that right, from the company Seed. Can you tell us a little bit about your organization and what you do? Yes. So, um, hello everybody. This is Xuyang from Seed. So, uh, we are a company from Shenzhen, China. And what we do is, our goal is we want to lower the barrier for developers to build IoT products. So, we provide all kinds of products and service to, to, to support this. For example, we provide all kinds of open source uh, modular hardware for people to build the prototype for proof of concept. And we also ha we have the design service, small batch manufacturing service, larger scale manufacturing service, and to uh, global distribution coming after. So you can consider Seed as uh, provide a one-stop hardware service for developer. Okay, very very good. You brought some some uh, some props with you. Tell us a little bit about these uh, th these devices you've got on the table here. Yes. So uh, this year we are here in the TTN conference to present this product. This product is called SenseCap. So it's a it's a product that designed for environment sensing, and they, it's all wireless sensors. So you can see the sensor, you know, use LoRaWAN protocol, and it can send the data. Uh, to the gateway, and the gateway send the data to the cloud, which is fit for the, you know, outdoor environment sensing uh, application like smart agriculture. Okay, very good. And and the other one, are they? This says Internet of Tea. Being an Englishman, I'm always very interested in tea. So so tell me about that. Yes. Yeah, so uh, when we decide to build this products, we first deploy our prototype into a mount in a tea mountain. Okay. Um, and then we start to learn. Oh, we need to upgrade this product. So this is how we learn uh, we need to do the lightning production and we need to have a low power consumption uh, solution and it has to be you know have an ip66 enclosure mm -hmm. to 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 protect the device itself so this uh, make our products has a few features for example it used lora so it, the power consumption is really low okay so the battery inside probably can last like five years at least. Okay. And it has an uh, it is armed with IP66 enclosure, so it is fit for severe weather station uh, with the industrial design in inside. Okay. And so also the communication uh, transmission distance in, in is also really long. R robust and ruggedized devices that are appropriate for being deployed out in out in the field. You manufacture across a range of technologies, though though presumably. What proportion of what you do is LoRaWAN? Is that increasing in terms of uh, where you work with your clients? Yes, I think LoRaWAN is really a good fit for um, application like smart agriculture or, or smart building because of its um, indoor penetration and, and, and the low power consumption. I'm really glad to partner with TTN to, 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 to do this because TTN is a worldwide and uh, we serve uh, worldwide customers. So it kind of makes us really easy to integrate our device into a WAN network. Okay, so how would it work? Someone would come to you and say, I'm thinking about developing a, an IoT application for smart parking or farming or water metering. And you would develop a uh, set of prototypes, set of products, all the way through from that first proof of concept all the way through to full batch production. Yes, we, this is part of the service that we provide too. Okay, very good. Xu Yangzhu, thank you for, for joining thank us. Thank you very much, Matt.